Hello, hello. So I have been doing a few little different projects throughout this week and I have quite a lot of paint left over that I've caught from the drip trays and I also have this fun little acrylic cup here which is about 15 or so different colours, metallics, coppers, bronzes, purples, greens, blacks, pinks, all that sort of stuff. So I might not use the massive cup, but I might use this massively crazy cup. I don't know if you can see that there. It looks cool in the cup. So instead of flip cupping this, because I don't think it's going to do what we want it to do, I'm just going to pour our robot out. So let's see what we get. You can see some of the metallic might be in there as well. I don't want to lose too much paint, but I do want to make sure that all the parts get covered. Because the little robot here has many, many parts. Alright, so he's definitely on his way to being covered. So we'll see how that goes before I use the last little bits. Gonna have to drop him with a bit of force to try and get that paint out of those little robot mouth of his. Missed the section. Did I miss anything else? I do have a bit of gold that I'm gonna ribbon up just to give him something special, I think. Let's do this robot. That looks cool. Alright. So you can hear my son in the background. Give that a dribble. Alright. And there is Robot Man. So I might just... The sake of playing, do some cool patterns on him. Okay, that is a fun little play with all the leftover paint that I had. So we shall see how he turns out when he's dry, and that hopefully won't be too long and we'll be back soon okay here's mr robot all finished look i'm glad i put the gold over the top honestly because it sort of took away from the brown that i got before that and he does look pretty cool in my opinion well that's that you live you learn